Well, hello everybody. Welcome to OTC Fish Keeper. And today what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, mix up the Oscars diet a little bit. I, uh, I've got them eating, eating very confidently and occasionally they even snap at the food a little bit. But what I'm shooting for is I would like to see them go after the food all the time no matter what. Now the competition between the two is, seems to be helping a little bit, at least for the new guy. The new guy is pretty aggressive towards the food. But I'd like to see the other one go for it too. So I'm going to try today, I'm going to try to feed him some, uh, some shrimp today. And uh, what I'm going to do is I've got some frozen shrimp I picked up at the store. Take a little bit of uh, tank water here. And uh, I've got my shrimp already cut up so that it's uh, Oscar bite size. And then I'm just going to throw that in the water because it was frozen. Let that uh, thaw for a few seconds. It doesn't take very long because those are pretty small chunks. Once you throw them in the water there, as soon as they sink, which they're already sinking, uh, then they should be ready to go. The trick is now to get the Oscars to eat it on camera because they're a little freaked out again because I've got all the lights on and everything. But I think, I think we're going to be able to get something here. So let's give this a try. I got to throw in some shrimp. They'll hopefully see it sinking and hopefully have some interest in it. Well, they at least looked at it. So I'm hoping to get them on different kinds of food so that later on, if I don't have immediate access to something for some reason, because I am kind of out here in the country, I, oh, there it goes. I'm out here in the country, and it can be a little difficult to necessarily get into the city where I need to be to pick up some of their different foods. For whatever reason, they seem to be just hiding on me over here. But I tell you what, let's see if we can catch the Jack Dempsey's, because they will come out and snatch at this sort of thing. And they're hiding inside that log right there, so maybe we can get the Jack Dempsey's to come out. And oftentimes, that'll make the uh, Oscars more aggressive towards the food because they simply don't want the jacks to get it. They are just not cooperating. No, he's scooping one up right now. And of course we can't see it. I don't want to put too much in the tank because I don't want to pollute the water. I definitely want them to get something to eat. Now, whatever they don't eat here within uh, within a day, actually within a few hours, I'm going to come back and I'm going to take it back out of the tank. But the Jack Dempsey is happy to come out and grab him some. And actually, of course, I've got two Jack Dempseys in there. And the Oscars not only won't eat on camera, but they won't allow the Jack Dempsey's to do it either. The Jack Dempsey's are coming out and grabbing some, and the Oscars are not letting us see it. But at any rate, I'm going to try, uh, this is shrimp, I'm going to try some scallops, anything else, a variety of different foods. Now I know for a fact they'll go crazy if I throw crawdads in there, so pretty soon it'll be crawdad season here. I'm going to put out some traps in the creek nearby, grab me some crawdads. And I thought while we're doing this, just for fun, let's see what happens if we put some of this shrimp, cut up very small, into the uh, angelfish tank. Just curious, just a curiosity thing really, but it is good for them. And you can kind of see here, I've, I've minced it up pretty small, but it's still kind of big for them. But they're much more happy to eat while I'm here. Let's see what they think of this. Oh, now see, now there's a, that's what you want to see. They're happy to go after that stuff. Oh, even the, uh, even a garami's got himself a nice mouthful. Look at that. And the tetras, even the tetras are going after this stuff. Wow. Throw the rest of it in there. Let them get a hold of that. Some smaller pieces they can get real easily. Oh, yeah, they're loving it. 
and of course now that we've walked away the Oscars are eating the shrimp at least they're eating it though I want it but I want to see them go after something I want them to just tear after something that way not only have I got a second type of food for them but if I need to give them medicine or minerals or vitamins I can do that in there oh my goodness look at this little guy trying to eat a great big piece of piece of shrimp there I didn't really think the Teshers go at it. Oh, he's going for it too. He wants that. And the Garami got himself a nice big one and another one. Silver dollars are coming up. Let's see what's going on. I think we might have two different males in here fighting for dominance. Might have to take one of them out. They are definitely not loving it fighting over I guess the food although there was plenty for everybody it might just be fighting over who's the boss that white one used to be used to be the, the pushiest one but it looks like this uh, this calico looking one has kind of uh, picked up some strength and some steam and some size but they're in a nice big tank six feet long so they can get away from each other and I got some plants in there so they can get out of sight of each other if they're feeling overly intimidated well I hope you enjoyed this week's episode it's a nice quick one and uh, in case you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button don't want to miss any new episodes see how the Oscars turn out with their new food or maybe with the scallions we'll see and then uh, also, just remember, you always, it's always good to have uh, alternative foods available, just in case something happens where your first food can't, uh, can't be acquired. My uh, pellets that I feed the Oscars, I have to go all the way into St. Louis for, and uh, you know I can't always get up there. Sometimes I have to work too many hours, I can't get out, or at least get out when the store is open. So, you know, good to have some alternatives, and I'm hoping to find something that they just can't resist, so that if I ever need to give them medicine, or, uh, or vitamins or minerals or something, I can soak the food in there, put it in the tank, and they'll eat it before they think about whether or not, you know, it's good for them. You know how it is. If you got kids, which I don't. But at any rate, until next week, you guys have a great weekend and have a happy Easter. See you later.